let us continue with our swadhyay we have been studying the sutras of patanjali as a part of our swadhyay we are in week 9 sutras 42 to 46 and like previous weeks we shall chant the sutras twice and then look at the meanings of each sutra every day what is crucial and essential is that we should try and relate to the meaning of the sutra as per our understanding how is it relative uh, how is relevant in our life what do we make out of it that is what is important let us begin tatr shabdarth jnana vikalpaihi sankirna savitarka samapatti hi smruti parishuddhau स्वरूप शून्य वार्थ मात्र निर्भासा निर्वितर्का एत यैव सविचारा निर्विचारा च सूक्ष्म विषया व्याख्याता सूक्ष्म विषयत्वं चालिंग पर्यवसानम ता एव सबीजा समाधि वंस अगेन तत्र शब्द अर्थ ज्ञान विकल्प ही संकीर्ण सवितर्का समापत्ति स्मृति परिशुद्ध स्वरूप शून्यवाथ मात्र निर्भासा निर्वितर्का एक सविचारा निर्विचारा च सूक्ष्म विषया व्याख्याता सूक्ष्म विषयत्व च आलिंग पर्यावसानम ता एव सभी जहा समाधि ओ नाउ लेट एस गो टू द मीनिंग्स ऑफ सूत्र फोर्टी टू सूत्र फोर्टी टू से शब्दार्थ ज्ञान विकल्प ही संकीर्ण सवितर्का समापत्ति तत्र शब्द साउंड अर्थ नॉलेज ज्ञान रीजनिंग विकल्प ही बाय अल्टरिंग अल्टरिंग अल्टरनेटिंग संकीर्ण गेटिंग मिक्स्ड सवितर्का samapatti hi in this state the consciousness remains identified with sound or its true knowledge or the reasoning behind it such a mixed state where the consciousness is identified either with the above three or sometimes with couple or multiple of them such a state is known as a state of savitarka samapatti the savikarka samadhi the next few sutras this week will be discussing about samadhi and for us this is going to be more of an intellectual exercise trying to understand what is the actual goal of the whole practice what is it that the scriptures speak about as the goal that way we can understand the magnitude of the work which we have decided to undertake and also it gives us an idea about the ability of our mind 
to be which can reach such high levels today it appears to be out of the scope of our abilities but with regular practice it has been seen that one can slowly step by step move ahead so keeping this in mind we should be addressing the sutras this week understanding the scope and the magnitude with this let us complete today's session please sit comfortably with your hands on your knees in dhyan or chin mudra eyes gently closed head neck shoulders back in a straight line awareness at the eyebrow center do madhya bring in the same experience you had chosen in the beginning of the session and maintaining your awareness on that we shall chant the mantra om three times together followed by the shanti pa taking in a deep breath पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ हरिओं तत्सत जेंटली सब यो पाम अगेंस्ट इच अदर प्लेस देम ऑन द क्लोज्ड आईज experience the warmth radiating from the palms to your eyes relaxing and energizing the eyes the brain the whole body and then gently move the palms away open your eyes hari om tat sat namo narayan jai hind